reached the point of reached the point of reached the point of no return. Neil! Hi there. I'm Abe. I'm Dr. Johnson's student assistant. Uh, he's ill this week, so I'll be conducting your session. How are you feeling? Exhausted. Is the new semester treating you well? I've already stopped going to most of my classes. Dr. Johnson, when he talked to me, he made me aware that you were having a bout with uh, insomnia, even sleepwalking sometimes. Is that still occurring? Yeah. I spent last night in the woods, in the same place where James and I camped. As far as Dr. Johnson's records show, this is the fourth time this month. Is the guilt coming back? Coming back? It, it never left. Neil, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You'd feel pretty guilty yourself if you slept through the death of your best friend. It's not your fault. Animal attacks in this area are very common. I mean, the cops checked the scene of the crime. They, they found blood. They found paw prints and claw marks. It was an animal attack. Let it go. But you're neglecting one thing. The body wasn't there. The beast dragged him from the tent. God knows how mutilated it must have been. But you know what they did find? That tent was torn apart. There was blood everywhere. His fingernails had been ripped off from clawing at the zipper. And I just peacefully slept through the whole thing. He most likely heard the animal coming and, uh, and tried to escape. From the sounds of it, you're having problems with anxiety again. I think it's time we up your prescription. Hey Nick, what's going on? I thought I heard something. It's not nothing. I'm just doing some homework. Yeah, man, man, this semester is kicking my ass. Totally. Do you remember that girl Samantha? I went to high school with her. Yeah. Well, I guess she got a house for this year, and uh, she's throwing a housewarming party this Friday. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, you should come with, man. Uh, it might help you take your mind off the whole James thing. What? Look, man, it's just a friendly suggestion. I murdered him. No suggestion's gonna change that. Just, you should try it. Uh, I might stop by. Okay, get some sleep. All right. I had a really good time tonight, Samantha. Yeah, I did too. What's wrong? I'm just really creeped out. This is the same place where that kid died last spring. I'll protect you. What was that? I really think we should just get out of here. I thought you said you had a good time. No, I had a horrible time. Can we just get out of here? Why are you upset? You can say, but I'm getting out of here. Sam, Samantha. Come on! I so what's it like being dead? Imagine not being able to feel, smell, touch, or taste. Imagine having feet that don't listen to you, but follow the person that puts you in a state of anesthesia, like tracks on a train. You must hate me. More than you could know. You were my best friend! You killed two of your classmates last night. Don't try to comfort yourself with regret. You have no conscious access to the real you. To the beast. What are you talking about? If you think you hate yourself now, just wait for the next full moon.
Hey, man, did you hear about Samantha and the guy she was with? Yeah. Sorry, man. I know it reminds you of James. It's all right. I was probably just going to stay in for the weekend. Look, man, you have to stop beating yourself up over this. James died of an animal attack. Just leave me alone, all right? First me and now Nick, some friend you are. How do I stop it? You killed him, with your claws and your fangs and your teeth. <laughs> and there's only one way to stop it. It's with this silver bullet, right in the brain of the next full moon. It's the only way. He'll be on the dresser when you wake up. Is the medicine helping? Yeah, I guess. Have you spoken to James recently? Yeah. What did he say? He says that I'm a werewolf and that I should kill myself to stop the virus from spreading. <sighs> Neil, your anxiety, I... I don't know why it persists. The meds should have done something for it. I'm sorry that they haven't. Uh, please try to recognize uh, that this is reality. Your meetings with James, they, they aren't. They feel a hell of a lot more real than this does. Neil, he's dead. I know it can be hard to separate the two, but trust me, there is a difference. You can make it through this. Why should I want to? To tell the truth, it's become apparent to me that the night that Neil and James were camping, James didn't exactly die. <laughs>